we start by writing the general term of the given series UR. This has three components. The first component is the general term of the series 1, 3, 5 and so on which is 2R minus 1. The second component is the general term of the series 3, 5, 7 and so on which is 2R plus 1. And the final component is the general term of the series 5, 7, 9 and so on which is 2R plus 3. Therefore UR is equal to 4R square minus 1 times 2R plus 3 which is further equal to 8R cube plus 12R square minus 2R minus 3. Therefore the sum of n terms is equal to summation of UR where R goes from 1 to n replacing the value of UR obtained above this is the summation of 8R cube plus 12R square minus 2R minus 3 where R ranges from 1 to n. This can be also written as 8 times summation R cube plus 12 times summation R square minus 2 times summation R minus 3 times summation of 1 where R ranges from 1 to n. Summation of R cube is equal to n times n plus 1 upon 2 whole square. Summation of R square is n times n plus 1 to n plus 1 upon 6 and summation of R is equal to n times n plus 1 upon 2 and finally summation of 1 where R ranges from 1 to n is n. Plugging in all of these values and simplifying and then taking n common across the board we get n times in brackets the first term is 2n times n plus 1 whole square the second term is 2 times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 the third term is minus of n plus 1 and finally minus 3 inside the brackets. This is equal to n times 2n times n plus 1 whole square can be expanded as n square plus 2n plus 1. The second term can be written as 2 times 2n square plus 3n plus 1 and the remaining terms are minus n minus 1 minus 3. This can be further expanded and is equal to n times 2n cube plus 4n square plus 2n plus 4n square plus 6n plus 2 minus n minus 4. This is equal to n times 2n cube plus 8n square plus 7n minus 2 which is the required sum of the given series to n terms.